Hello everyone and welcome back to Lux and Wine. My name is Caitlin. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And we are growing. Every time I post a video, it's been super, super exciting, but I am filming, it's 2020. I'm so excited to get some new videos up for you guys. Also, if you're new here, or even if you've already subscribed, make sure you hit that bell. That really helps so that you get notified whenever my videos upload. I have been uploading more on Wednesdays in the morning around 8 a.m. is when I typically upload. If you hit that bell, then you'll never miss an upload and you'll know I have a new video. So anyways, I wanted to share a comparison with you guys of my Neverfull tote versus my Valentino tote. And I would have my Valentino tote sitting up here, but, but it won't stand up. In fact, <laughs> here's one of those things you can see with this one. It just, nope, not gonna. Nope, not gonna. Also, it's really heavy because it's got all my stuff in it. So anyways, this is kind of gonna be like a, what's in my bag? This is what I'm currently using as my work bag. Oh, Jesus, it's heavy. Anyways, um, con, it's heavy. Previously, I was using exclusively my Neverfull. I've had my Neverfull since 2018. Yeah, I got it um, on my honeymoon in 2018. I really liked it when I first got it, but then really quickly, I kind of started to hate it. And so I really haven't carried it in a little bit. I also had an accident with it and then Louis Vuitton replaced it. So my Neverfull has actually been replaced. So this isn't the original one, but I have a whole video on that. So I'll link that video down down below, but I bought this in 2019. I was thinking this would be better because it's a little bit smaller. So as you can see from a size comparison, because this is the Neverfull GM and this is the Valentino Rockstud tote. I think I would have liked the Neverfull better had I gone with the MM size, but the GM is just so big. So I have used it a little bit when traveling, but I never use it on planes because it's like open like this. And the same thing with this. I have not flown with this. Not that I fly super often, but anyways, let's get into what's inside it. And I'll talk more about that in a little bit. Both of these bags have organizers in them. Just kind of an overview in there. This is my work bag. So I have like a little folio with work paper in it. And then my laptop is a 13 inch laptop, but it is not a lovely MacBook. Um, this computer was issued by my company and it's an HP. This is way better than what I did have. What I did have was horribly heavy. This is still pretty heavy, but it's not as bad as it was. So 13 inches. And then I've got my sunglasses in here because I'm currently carrying a bag that's too small for this kind of chunky sunglass case. And this is, uh, these are some Henry Bendel sunglasses. And then I've got a battery, a Mophie battery pack in there. I've got my business cards in a little Henry Bendel case. I've got a Michael Kors pencil bag. I don't even think you could buy this. My mom used to work for Michael Kors and so did I many years ago, but she got this for free. And so that's what I keep my um, ID badge, any type of stickies, post-it notes, pens, anything like that I keep in here. I also never go anywhere without a pair of scissors. So anyways, that works pretty well and it's super lightweight, doesn't take up a lot of space. And right now I'm carrying my little mini Louis Vuitton small agenda in, what is this? Uh, Damier Azure in the, I believe this was the trunks, locks and trunks or trunks collection. I got this from Luxury Garage Sale last year. So then I think that's pretty much, oh, there's some little gum and a pen. So that's the bag empty with my organizer in it. So I got this organizer from Original Club. I had originally spoken to Samorga about this because all my other organizers are Samorga. However, I emailed Samorga asking about measurements and I said in the email that I was looking to get an organizer for this tote, but I didn't see one on their website. And I asked if they could give me the measurements of one of the other, specifically a another organizer on the site so I could see if that organizer would work for this bag rather than going custom. And I basically just got a pretty short email back that said, we don't give our measurements out. And I was like, okay. Well, it turns out that is pretty common practice that a lot of companies that are making bag organizers don't give out their measurements because I guess they don't want people to steal their measurements. But Either way, the bag's measurements are on most websites. So I basically just kind of went looking for bags that I thought was a similar size and tried to find something, but it just was really difficult. So I ended up emailing Original Club and they were so kind. And there was a little bit of a language barrier there, but their emails were so kind. And we went back and forth really hard on this organizer. In fact, let me pull it out and show you so you can kind of see. This organizer actually is a lot stiffer 
than the one that I got from Samorga. Like this one really has got really sturdy walls. Okay, so this one's got some air paper in it, but you can see kind of how, now this one is uh, my original organizer. I've had this one and Samorga doesn't make this one anymore. Uh, this has my little pouch in it from there, but Samorga doesn't make this one anymore, which is another reason why I was asking specifically for this one because I wanted this one without the divider for this one to be like that. They were like, yeah, no, we don't make this one anymore. But you can see kind of the way this is kind of, it is broken in. I mean, it was a little bit stiffer when I got it, but this does not feel the same as this. And considering how this tote doesn't quite stand up really well whenever my laptop is in it without an organizer. This organizer, I am so happy with. The original club team went back and forth with me. I think we emailed back and forth for at least four or five weeks. And when I started emailing them, it was during a sale and they actually honored that price six weeks later after we were going back and forth and back and forth. And we probably changed the measurements like three times because the problem with this bag is you see how it's tapered. The bottom is one size and it's wider at the top. And when you're doing a custom bag organizer, the organizer only goes to about right here. As you can see, I asked them to go ever so slightly higher. And then I also wanted it to be a little bit wider than the base of the bag so that it would sit in there real snug. I wouldn't get stuff lost around it. But anyway, so this is what I ended up going with. They basically said, pick something off our website that you like, and then we will customize the organizer to your specifications. And I told them the size of my laptop. So this is my 13 inch sleeve. I wanted the water bottle because I don't have that in this one. And then I wanted a little pocket here. That's where I keep my pens. And then I have little pockets here. And this is technically supposed to be for an iPad, but I use this for like loose paper or anything small. And then it does not have any pockets around here because I really didn't want anything around there. And also just so you understand the Valentino tote, unlike the Neverfull, so this is what it looks like on the interior. It's actually a raw leather. And then it's got a zipper pocket here, which I never use. And then it's got two pockets here. Now these I have used a couple of times, but for the most part, again, because the raw leather I'm a little worried about, I really don't use. For the most part, I like this size tote. It does have a little bit of a, um, it looks like it's showing on camera, but it doesn't really show in person. I think that's just the lights. Yeah, see, it, you don't see it on the front. On the back, you can kind of see a little bit of a line there from it. Um, sitting on the organizer and sagging a little bit, but even empty, this is my biggest con with this tote. This tote is so heavy. And part of that is because it's a really thick, full grain pebble leather, in addition to having all of the rock studs on it. And then the straps are really thin, so it's really not distributing weight very evenly. And then the other thing is the straps, if you have kind of long arms, this is a little bit difficult to get on, you don't have a lot of drop here. So when I'm wearing a coat, this does not happen. Or I'm wearing like a, a thicker blazer, even with a blazer regular, this is a little bit difficult. So that's definitely been something that's bothered me about it. I have not seen a strap, but apparently you can put another strap on here. So it has two little rings. But my problem with that is I'm concerned that it's gonna go like that and make it kind of funny. Maybe if you had it snapped, it's got a little snap closure and you could kind of Maybe, I just feel like it would get funky shaped over time. I don't know. But anyways, so I really liked this organizer for Original Club, really made this bag work for me. However, I still am on the search for the perfect work bag. I do not feel like either one of these really 100% works for me. Yeah, so the problem that I couldn't go to the Neverfull MM was because my laptop, like I said, is 13 inches. The Neverfull MM is 12.6 inches wide, and so that's why I had to go with the GM. I know that you could kind of put your laptop in there, like you could just freestyle it and like put it like that, you know, or I don't know how you would do that, but it just kind of freestyle it in there. That was not something that I was willing to do. So I put the organizer in with the laptop sleeve on the back of the bag because I have the logo on the front and then I put the laptop sleeve in the back. And then that's where my laptop goes so that the majority of the weight of the bag is closest to my body. And then that just makes it a little bit more comfortable to carry. I love the look 
Durability wise, both of them are really durable. Um, I have, I think a little scrape on one of the straps from, yeah, there's a little scrape, which you're not gonna be able to see on camera, but um, from like wearing like rings and then kind of your hands scraping on like that with a ring on under the weight of the bag again, cause this one is just so much heavier than the other one. But if you get one of these, at the time that I'm making this video and last year, nobody has made an organizer that fits this. If you find one, leave a note in the comments below. If you're interested, if you've got this or you wanna get um, a custom organizer from Original Club, I highly, highly recommend this and just leave a comment. I don't remember exactly the specifications of my organizer, but if anybody's interested, I can leave that below. But anyways, as far as a neutral tote, again, it works really well because that's what I was going for was something neutral. See, without the, my laptop in it, it really, it probably will sit up just fine. Yeah. And so you can see it kind of has a little bit of sag to it from um, the fact that I don't snap it, but I'll snap it so that it'll look nice here sitting back here. When I'm traveling with it, I can fit the strap like over the top of my suitcase and it's just not a big deal. But anyways, so that's the Valentino tote. Oh, and let me give you the measurements of the Valentino tote one more time. It's 10.6 inches tall. The base is 14.5 inches, but the top opening is 18.5 inches. So you understand that like we were talking about, it's tapered and the depth is 5.5 inches. The point is it's heavier than this. Like based on what a lot of people have said about the Senrev bag, it kind of sounds like it's probably like that. Full leather bags are just heavier. Okay, so the handle drop on that is about nine and a half inches. Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even realize that. But the handle drop on the Neverfull is actually a little bit shorter. The handle drop on the Neverfull is about a little less than eight and a half inches. Eight and a quarter, eight and a third, maybe, something like that. Like I said, I just wish that the MM had been just a little bit wider for a 13 inch laptop because that really I think would have been way better for me than this. I have loved this. I have used this a ton. I don't wanna part with it, but it just has not quite worked out the way that I wanted it to. And I'm also really sad that I can't get another one of these organizers if I were to get another bag that was this size. I don't think I would get another work bag that's this size. It does work really well for this one. I'm gonna leave my paper in here, but like I've shown this one in a couple of videos, you can fit quite a bit more in here. You know, when I put my laptop in and there's nothing else in the bag, the laptop can sit a little bit more in because the sides of the laptop pocket are soft so that it can kind of sit in. And then if I have more things in the bag, it'll sit more up straight, but that works out pretty well. And then of course this bag, unlike the Valentino has the snap closure and this one has this clip closure, which is okay, but it doesn't really do anything. In a perfect world, I wish both of these would have had like a zip top. Unfortunately, the one Louis Vuitton makes that has a zip top is even larger. Like I said, on my frame, this is a good size and I do like having a dark one and I do like, again, how much lighter weight this is, but it's still pretty big. So it definitely is really good for carry a lot of stuff or like if you're somebody who's maybe commuting to work and you have like a sweater or something in here, although I'm gonna say I would not carry something like this or like that on like a subway. If you live in like New York or London or somewhere where public transportation is really big and you're like bumping up against people, I mean, anybody can just, you know, get in there and get anything, you know, by just bumping you. From a secure standpoint, neither one of these are very secure. But if you're looking for a good all around, not just for work, but work, travel, shopping, like this is still a really, really good all around tote. But if you carry a lot of things that are heavy, like a laptop and a water bottle, this one doesn't have the water bottle organizer in it. This is my Lark water bottle. This one can have a water bottle and this bottle fits in that organizer. But if you're carrying water and a laptop and a bunch of, I mean, it's gonna get heavy. And then these thin straps are definitely gonna dig into your arm quite a bit. So keep that in mind when you're looking at these two bags. If you're somebody that has back problems, or again, like I said, you carry a lot of heavy things, will it hold it? Yes. Are they both sturdy? Yes. But will it dig into your shoulder? 
yeah, it definitely will. And again, if you're wearing like bulky coats a lot, if you live in a cold climate, then that's gonna be a problem for both bags as far as having something bulky and trying to get that on your shoulder. So each one of these bags, they're both totes. They're two different sizes, but they do have very, very different features really for me based on the organizer I put in them, not really because they're anything special as far as a tote. They're both really basic totes. If I had to choose one, if I lost both and I was going to replace one, I'd probably stick with my Neverfull and I probably never would have bought this or and I wouldn't repurchase it again because it's just so heavy. From a look perspective, I really love the way this one looks because I feel like it's not as obvious a designer bag. And really this one isn't either because it's not monogram. But I think that this one is a little more subtle because it's mostly leather. It's pretty basic. And it just has the stud detail on it, but it's not like designer, designer, expensive bag. So I think that it's a lot more subdued on that. Again, with this one, even though it is not the monogram, people do recognize this. I have had a lot of comments from people I was really shocked that knew what this bag was. I've definitely got some flack from a couple of my coworkers about this one too, whereas nobody, nobody says a word about this bag. This one was actually more expensive than this one. So, you know, again, what are you trying to say with your work bag? For me, I want something that's comfortable. I want something that's functional. I want to not have to worry too much about it, but I do take good care of my bag, but I'm not trying to be like advertising how much my bag is with a big brand name on it. It's just not really my style. Um, I do have one signature piece, um, which is my push-up Matisse, which I do love. Right now, the, the totes that say uh, the Riva Gauche tote I really like from YSL, that I have considered. So when I consider totes, like maybe changing one of these, I've looked into the On The Go, um, I've looked into the Riva Gauche or the Valentino um, canvas tote because both would be really lightweight. The biggest problem is just my laptop being so heavy, even if I get another organizer, no matter what I put it in, my laptop is, is going to end up causing shape issues over time just because it's so heavy, which is unfortunate, but I know that. So when I first started a job where I had to carry a laptop around all the time, I actually got this tote. Um, I started my current job in 2016 and I bought this one and it's held up pretty well. I have seen some people do reviews on these where their straps broke. Um, this is the Lowen Sons OG tote and it has a lot of things that I really, really love and I still, to this day, use this one for flying specifically because it is so easy to get around an airport in this bag because it's got a zipper top. Okay, so inside I got the gray with the blue interior and that's the cool thing about these is that you can pick what you want. But um, it's got a laptop sleeve that fits my laptop. Then it's got an iPad sleeve and then it's got the opening, opening in there and then it's got two pockets plus a little zipper pocket on the opposite side. Then it also, right here, is perfect if you carry an extra pair of shoes. This bag, oh my gosh, I wish a luxury house would make a bag like this. And then, oh, it gets better. So on the back, it's got a little spot on it, but on the back, it's got one of these. So that goes over your suitcase. And so when you're running through the airport, you've got this, and it's not going anywhere, it's fabulous. You cannot do that with this or this. Um, if one of these is hanging on your suitcase like that, it's gonna go toppling, your crap's gonna go everywhere, it's, just, it's the worst. Anyway, so you can do this. Uh, you can put it over the suitcase and then on the front, it also has another pocket that's got some little organizer things in there. So this bag never needed an organizer. Because it's kind of a fabric material, so it's it's been really durable. I have a little bit of fading on the corners. It's got feet. I really love it. Again, it's a little bit big as far as like width. And then again, the biggest problem that almost all of these bags we talked about have is let's say that I'm just carrying my laptop and I'm not carrying anything else in the bag or not carrying a lot of stuff in the bag. Even with the strap holding the laptop in place, the laptop caves forward. And basically over time, the whole front of the bag, so that's it trying to stand up. And that 
bothers me so much. So this one really, I only use if I'm going on a plane because I'm not worried about it, I will stuff it under the seat and it's gonna collapse anyway because it's already lost its shape. And that shape loss happened, I'd say within six months, which was really unfortunate. I still recommend Low & Sons as a brand. I think they do a lot of good things, but that's my biggest con with this bag is the way that it collapses. So anyways, I hope this video helped you guys. I mean, the truth of the matter is I really have not found work bag piece. I feel like all of us are kind of in search of that perfect bag, especially when it comes to a work bag. I think that if I could have the features of this bag, you know, with the slip pocket on the back, like I really wish Louis Vuitton would make something with a slip pocket on the back. Cause in a perfect world, if I could get a canvas back that was lightweight and could hold my laptop and all my work things, but not be this big and have this slip pocket on the back, I would be in business. Oh, and a zipper on the top. Like that would be my ideal bag. That's like my perfect world. Again, I like the Valentino tote. I just wish it wasn't so heavy. So if you're somebody who goes to work with an iPad, you could totally do the either the MM or the Valentino tote and it wouldn't be so heavy probably for you. But then again, if you're gonna do an iPad, you could do like something less expensive and a lot lighter weight and smaller, like a Senrev bag, uh, Prada totes fit a iPad. So there's a ton of options out there. I personally have these two. Neither one is perfect. I wish I could say I totally love one or the other. I think my preference, this one is a little bit more comfortable, I think, to wear, even though it's bigger, just because it's lighter weight. The weight on this one is just killing me. But, you know, we'll see. Every day it's a little bit different. So I think for me, neither one of these is perfect. But again, like I said, I really just think that it's personal preference. So if you have any questions about either one of these bags, or if you'd like me to do a more in-depth um, video about the organizers, I think I pretty much covered it. I mean, the original club organizer is awesome if you want a stiffer organizer, but if you want something that's a little squishier, the Smorg is better. So it really just depends on what you're looking for because they offer different things. And I really just think it's just, like I said, a matter of personal preference and what works for you and your lifestyle. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment down below if you'd like to see anything else related to work bags. I have some other work bags that I do use um, in a rotation. I have a rolling one. I have the one I just showed you, the Low & Sons one. I've got a smaller version. Those bags have been discontinued, but there are similar ones out there. So if you'd like to see something more in depth work bag related outside of these two, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to do that and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.